Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the Wizard's Chest. I am Kyle and today it's time for the Toy Haul. Uh, so I think last week's Toy Haul, even though it was 34 minutes long, something like that, I like the new format. I think it was working well, so I'm going to keep going with that. This week's Toy Haul is a little bit smaller in uh, quantity, but the quality I think is a little bit better. Uh, depending on who you ask, I guess. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I picked up was completing, well, actually not completing, uh, but further expanding upon the DC Primal Age that I got. Uh, we have Ace the Bat Hound, which uh, doesn't look that great, <laughs> if I'm being honest, but it's cheap, and I wanted to complete the set, give something, bat, uh, give Batman something to ride on. So he's got to have his hound, old Ace. Um, I mean, the idea is cool, but the the sculpt is just—it looks like a dog toy, a dog's chew toy. So pretty cheap plastic there, but still pretty cool. Uh, so I picked him up, and the one that I think is actually pretty decent because it looks like the uh, jaw has some articulation there. Um, and then of course it's got the Joker sculpt on the throne chair uh, that he's sitting on with some nice uh, um, cloth draped over it or fur draped over it. So I think this one looks pretty good and the sculpt's a little bit better. Uh, and he's actually got articulation it looks like on the legs. The hound doesn't have anything. I don't know why they want, um, went all out for this one and not that one. But And the other thing I was going to mention is... Let me know if you have found the Joker for the DC Primal Age. I don't know what the holdup on that is, but I've been to quite a few targets in the past few weeks, and I have every single figure uh, there is. Actually, I picked up uh, Scarecrow the other day, so I have every single figure except for the Joker. I haven't even seen him, so I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but as soon as I see him, I will grab him. But let's go ahead and take a look at these out of the package real quick. All right, so here is Scarecrow and Ace the Death Hound. The only part that moves on the Death Hound is his little armored mask. Very simple design. Scarecrow looks pretty good. I like the little Sith or sickle that he has, whatever that's called. He's got a pretty sweet shield. My dog is sneezing right now. <laughs> There's that. And then the one that's even cooler and twice as heavy is Joker's Ride. I thought this articulated with uh, the way that it looks like there, obviously, and I thought these would move, but no go, no articulation. But that's pretty sweet. He's got like one crazy eye. <laughs> but yeah, still haven't found the Joker. Can't wait to get him. So it is almost 100% complete with what they've released right now. But I did see the Superman and uh, Flash. They had a bunch of different characters. I can't remember right now. I just got off work and I'm, if I sit down, I will crash. <laughs> so I'm filming this super fast. But anyways, here are the two beasts that they can ride. Pretty cool. All right, next up, I finally broke down and decided to get one of the McFarland Fortnite toys. Uh, this one is Raptor. I always liked, I like the style of this. Kind of, um, kind of a commando, kind of James Bond in the mountains type thing. Uh, so it looked pretty sweet. I like the ski mask. I like the headphones that he's got on and the shotgun shells on his uh, His little belt across his chest and his boots um, and I like the yellow and the brown together. So it looks pretty pretty cool uh, I will not be getting the Skeleton guy or the pink panda, but I might be picking up the black knight, whatever that guy's name is um, Later on down the road depending on how much I like this one. So let's go ahead and see if I like them and take them out of the box. All right, now for the Fortnite guy. And I was actually super impressed with the way that it feels, uh, the the way that the articulation is. I mean, it's a McFarlane, so I wasn't expecting much, but 
I don't know if you can hear that, but it's got ratchet joints. That's crazy. I haven't watched any reviews on these. Um, but I am very impressed, so I am definitely going to be picking up the uh, Black Knight, whatever his name is. But pretty sweet, nice detail. Like I said, very good articulation. Obviously, you can see the elbow gets up past 90. Nice paint job. I like the backpack. There goes his gun. Let's take a look at the gun. Pretty sweet. Got his cantina there. Not bad at all. Alrighty, I didn't think I would come across this next one for a while, but wouldn't you know it, my local Walmart right down the road had them in stock. Uh, this is the Shazam figure from the new movie that's coming out with uh, the guy that was in that TV show, Chuck. I uh, never really watched that. Um, I still think that he looks a little weird in this movie. Um, something something in the shoulders or something. The proportions don't look right when he has the, the suit on. So, But that's, that's nitpicking. It could be a really good movie. The trailer looks pretty cool. Uh, but they did not have the uh, Mark Strong figure. I'm not sure what his character's name is. It's something weird. Um, but I was going to pick him up. But they didn't have them. They had three of the Shazams, so not complaining there, but would have liked to have picked up Mark Strong. He's definitely, if I could have anybody's voice, it would probably be Mark Strong's. He's got that kind of like Jeremy Irons, Scar voice type thing. Good evil voice. <laughs> Okie doke, when I went to, uh, when I went to the movie trading company in Dallas, they had some of these new Aladdin figures um, by Funko five star genie um so in the line comes aladdin jasmine and jafar jafar i believe comes with iago uh genie comes with the uh the rug and jasmine comes with the tiger and i'm guessing aladdin comes with the boo but i haven't seen him yet so but genie is my favorite character which is probably everybody's favorite character so I had to pick him up, and it was only 12 bucks, I believe, so not too bad. Here is a look at Genie and the carpet. Carpet looks pretty sweet. I like how they have it kind of flowing. And then Genie looks cool but creepy with that smile, too. <laughs> but pretty sweet. And then... There's a little sneak peek of what the others will look like. All right, next up, if you watched the toy hunting video that I posted the other day, you already know that I was lucky enough to find all four of the GameStop exclusive Turtles from NECA. So these are the scaled down versions of the uh, larger ones that sold for $100 or $110 not too long ago. And I was actually a little... I don't know, it's hard to say I was miffed or, or pissed off or whatever, because I bought the $100 turtles thinking that they would never scale them down, which I don't think they had plans to at the time, because their licensing was so difficult to get around. Uh, but now that they've gotten around it, and they've scaled them down, I'm going to have to sell off my, my larger ones, because if I've got the exact same thing but just smaller, and I'm a 6 inch kind of guy, and uh, yeah, I'd rather have these. Uh, better for taking pictures and uh, putting in my Detolf case with a diorama or something like that. So, uh, I don't know. I'll probably sell those for about 50 bucks each. So if you're interested, let me know. But anyways, yeah, I got uh, Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo, and Michelangelo. Mikey was always my favorite, because he was goofy, and I'm pretty goofy. Teenage sometimes. Mutant Ninja Turtles, turtles in a half shell, turtle power. Oh my gosh, these things are amazing. I'm sure you guys already know that, but just in case, I will reiterate it for you. He's got the stink eye. He's giving Splinter the stink eye. You son of a bitch. Just fantastic sculpt, great paint job. The only thing is that their turtle shells right here are a little warped. I wish those would have been 
glued upon the body, but it's okay. A little heat. We'll fix that right up. They all come with their weapons, a slice of pizza, interchangeable hands, and actually they come with interchangeable bandanas in the back. So they just pop out right there for a windswept look or just a laying still. Fantastic shell paint job. Super happy I got these. All right, I have been waiting on this guy for a long time. Anakin Skywalker, by, played by Hayden Christensen from Revenge of the Shit. <laughs> I almost said Revenge of the <laughs> We've all been there. Um, Revenge of the Sith. SH figure arts. This looks amazing. It is going to go great with my Obi-Wan Kenobi in my SH figure arts case. I cannot wait to get him posed in there. Um, so let's go ahead and bust this guy out immediately and take a closer look at him because I am dying to get this open. All right, time for the chosen one. Anakin. Really, really great likeness to Hayden Christensen. Christensen? Christian? Um. Fantastic sculpt, even though it's kind of monotone, very distinct texture designs and the way that it drapes, very cool. Per usual great lightsaber, good detail. My one complaint with this is that right there. That line that just cuts right across his head. What the hell? And it really bothers me because that is as tight as it goes. <clears throat> he does come with a couple different face swaps. Sorry, my hands are super dirty. Like I said, I just got off work. But he's got the evil eyes there. Those yellow Sith eyes. And then he's got the, come on, focus, the screaming voice, or the, <laughs> the screaming face, and it just plugs in, ah, that's terrifying. And he does come with a couple different hand swaps. Oops. But I've been wanting this guy for a while, so... Uh, but man, because they they didn't do that with Luke or... I don't know, I'd have to look at... I think they did that with Wonder Woman. But because her hair... I don't know, it looks better on her. It's not that noticeable, but on that... That is a huge distinctive line. Just cutting right across the middle of his head. Come on, figure arts! I'm still got, happy I got it, though. Also in the SH Figure Arts line is the Hulk from Avengers, the Mark Ruffalo Hulk. This thing looks amazing. It looks even better in person than you watching it on video does or seeing pictures. So uh, if you're on the fence about this, I would say go ahead and pull the trigger because once you get it in hand, it just looks so much better than I thought it did, which is weird. It's always weird like that. Sometimes I'll, I'll have stuff, something in my hand and still be on the fence about it but when i go to a buddy's house or something and they have one out they have it loose then i'm like oh yeah man this is really awesome um so you just never know you never really know but anyways this is super heavy a really good deal for uh 80 bucks uh i know it's the price of a mezco but uh it's figure arts it's got great articulation a great paint job sculpt uh, it's got three face swaps and a couple different hand swaps it looks like. Uh, so pretty sweet. I'm very excited. Let's get this guy out of the package as well and take a closer look, shall we? Alright, here is the Hulk. And it is amazing. Would not expect anything less from Figure Arts. Great articulation, butterfly joints, double jointed elbows and knees. Waist swivel. Uh, you got the kind of chest rotation. I wouldn't call that an ab crunch. 
and you even got the little toesy woesies. But great, great likeness, I think. And he does come with the gritting teeth look and the sun's getting low, big guy look. Pretty awesome. And a couple different hand swaps. But pretty sweet. So when I was at Dallas Vintage Toys, it was uh, between the Black Widow figure arts, the blonde uh, black figure, blonde black widow figure arts, and the Hulk. I, I pulled the trigger on the Hulk because I have a feeling that the uh, Black Widow is going to be a little bit easier to find later on. So I'm going to pick her up next week. We'll see. And last thing I got from uh, DVT is the Ace Ventura NECA. Uh, it's got cloth goods, it's got the monkey, it's got the cockatoo, he's got two, uh, three different faces, and, uh, looks pretty awesome. This was definitely the shit when I was growing up. Uh, he was just one of those guys that his comedy was so in your face that for a ten-year-old kid, it was right up your alley. Uh, especially for someone like me who had ADD and was bouncing off the walls. <laughs> Uh, there are a few issues that I have. Uh, looks like the paint kind of faded as they uh, as they went down, or it was going through the conveyor belt, or however they do it, uh, because I don't know if it's picking up on there, but it looks like he's got some five o'clock shadow, but that's just lack of paint, so it's transparent, and you're seeing the base of the sculpt. Uh, but everything else looks really good, and it looks like they... They painted all the faces, but it looks like the arms and hands are die cat, dyed in the, the plastic, so uh, no rubbing off there, which is nice, but let's go ahead and bust him out of the package. Alrighty then, here is Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Got the little rhesus monkey there, or capuchin, is that a capuchin monkey? Then you got the nice parrot. Cloth goods. The shirt looks amazing. So do the pants. Good paint job and sculpt on the boots. Decent likeness. Come on. And he also comes with a pigeon. Or, man, my cat is going crazy. What is wrong with my animals right now? <laughs> and then here is the other face sculpt. So you can see where the paint needs to be layered up again. I'll have to touch that up. And here's the... <laughs> I like this one. I might put that one on there. And he also comes with... A card, Ace Ventura, Peck Detective, to serve and protect your pets. And he also comes with a picture of the 1972 undefeated Dolphins team with the X's on it. Pretty hard to see. Old Ray Finkel laces out. And then even smaller is a Ace Ventura, you have been had by Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And focus. All right. All right. And last but not least, I got two. That's right. Two of the uh, Siege um, Transformer figures. I got Megatron and Optimus Prime. <coughs> Excuse me. This Optimus Prime looks amazing, and I gotta admit, I am quite taken with the uh, Megatron as well. So, if you gotta get one, if you get one, you gotta get the other. I feel like, and for some reason, he is quite a bit heavier than the Optimus Prime. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna transform them because I am new to Transformers, and I'd have to look it up to see how to do it. So let's just go ahead and bust them out real quick so you can get a little bit closer of them out of their plastic confinement. 
And here's a little bit closer look at the Optimus Prime Siege. I like everything that's going on over here. A little symbol right there. Kind of weathered. Got his gun and his axe. Then you got Megatron. Looks pretty sweet. I just stuck this in here. <clears throat> I'm gonna mess with these later. I did get the uh, the Voyager Optimus Prime transformed. I had to YouTube it, but I got it. <laughs> like I said, I'm new to Transformers, so back off, man. All right, very cool. Ooh, I lied to you. I said last but not least, but that was a lie. I actually have some blind bags to open right now. Let's see, so these are the Pint Size Heroes Masters of the Universe from Funko. Uh, these came out, uh, I want to say like five or six months ago. I picked up, I'm looking over here because that's where I have them uh, lined up. I have Skeletor, I have Moss Man, Man at Arms, Beast Man, Trap Jaw, Orko, and Merman. So, I really want, uh, let's see, I really want Panthor, obviously He-Man, Panthor and He-Man. Alright, so I have five chances, let's see if I can get lucky. And right out of the gate, I get trap jaw. So now I have two trap jaws. Next up, the flocked moss man. Pretty cool. Yet another repeat. Come on, baby. Next up, we got <laughs> Jesus Christ, another <laughs> trap jaw. And another repeat, man at arms. Let's get another repeat. Yeah, all right. And yet another repeat. I got Beast Man yet again. That's what you get for blind bags, but you know what? Everybody else had them for like six, seven bucks. This place had them for $3.99, so what the hell? It was it was fun, I guess. And you know what? Anytime I get extras like this, uh, I'm going to start doing uh, blind box giveaways. So don't look. Um... But anyways, I left a little contest in the middle of the uh, video that I made a couple days ago. So watch my toy hunting video. And there's a little contest in there to which nobody has uh, has commented yet. But there's been like, I don't know, like 70 views on this or something. But uh, I guess they're not watching just to the middle. It's not even at the end of the video. So watch the video. Comment what you think Ryan is pointing at. And if you guess correctly, I will send you free a mystery box full of figures and uh, different pop culture stuff that is practically brand new. Uh, if it's a repeat that I've had or if it's something that I just don't feel like I need anymore, I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to put it in a pretty decent sized box. Um, something like this, shoebox size. And I will mail that bad boy to you for free. Uh, so comment on that video. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed our time together. I know I sure did. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Help my channel grow, please. I feel like it is the slowest growing channel on YouTube. <laughs> uh, but I have fun doing this. Um, it puts me a little bit... I don't know, it's 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 better for me to do this and not to have anybody watch my videos than to not do it and then just buy something, open it, and then put it up there on a shelf and forget about it. So I feel like this way at least I get to spend a little bit more time with the toys, talk about it, 
uh, because I don't constantly have people coming over in my bedroom oogling and ogling at all the stuff that I like. So at least I get to share this with you guys. And even if it's not as big as some other people's out there, I know I really appreciate each and every one of you who do watch my uh, channel. So thank you very much. And I will catch you guys later on down the road. Bye bye. A real little loot. A real little loot. A real little loot. Do 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 do